How's it going guys? I'm Round Life and today I'm going to show you a small guide on how to go through some of the parts in the game that you maybe have been struggling with. Before we start, you might want to check that this is a guide on only using keyboard and mouse. So in the settings, make sure you have go to the controls, which if you see the keyboard and mapping, you'll be able to see this part. This part will be the most important thing that you've got to keep in mind while going through this part on the hospital in the management part. So keep this in mind. If you want to reset or change some of the things which makes you feel more comfortable by controlling, you can do that so. But this is like the most default control that you could do. So without further ado, let's go to the chapter three, which will be the hospital. And we're gonna go through the mannequin part and showing you some guides on how to easily go through those. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. We're in the place where you'll first encounter your mannequin, the mannequin in the hospital. And it will start moving when there's a complete blackout. There we go. Now the mannequin will move as long as it's dark around, uh, dark in the surrounding. Now the thing that will help you throughout this whole map is that if you use the arrow control this will actually change the direction of where the mono is facing. So you can actually walk backwards while you're placing, while you're looking at the mannequin. Okay here we are in the room where the mannequins are mostly going to be here. So there are two in this area one over there and one here so if you like i said in the earlier if you press the arrow key you'll be able to move while you're facing while you'll be able to move backwards while you're looking at the mannequins so it's not very difficult you may think if if you didn't know this in the first place this wouldn't have been much more difficult for you guys but if you know how to use the arrow key that means you'll have no problem on passing through this level after going through this room, there'll be more mannequin soon. So let's get to that point. So here we are on the third phase. Now you, um, this one, it can be a little bit difficult, a little bit tricky when you play this for the first time. So the hands coming out of the room and keep your distance away from it because they will hit you if you go too close to it. So ignore all of those. Be careful not to get caught. And if you see a mannequin behind it, just ignore that. And also there'll be a mannequin in front of you keep flashing and then eventually run through it and slide under the stair. And after that, just go up here. They can't, luckily they cannot come up here. So let's, mo let's move on to the fourth phase which is the most difficult part of the game. After going through this bathroom, this is the moment where you'll find, well, almost all of the players will find it very difficult to pass through this. Because in total, there are six, from my experience, there are six mannequins moving. Now, if you go almost out of the map here, well, to the all the way south side of a room, there are six mannequins you can meet. But in theory, you can actually see, you can actually get to encounter three of them without having to awaken other mannequins that are moving. So if you go this wall, keep passing and looking backwards at the same time while you're going through this then you won't have much of a too much of a difficult while going through this part and here we are that's all that's all the mannequins you have to face you don't have to face all of the six mannequins so that's how you go through this part and i guess it was not too difficult hopefully it wasn't that difficult for you guys to show how to do it and so that's it on how to pass the mannequins just only using keyboard without having to use the control stick which is actually right actually pretty similar and the difficulty seems to be not that difficult so yeah so that's it for the guide on how to get through the mannequins easily if you guys enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button and subscribe button if you haven't done so be sure to subscribe to my channel i stream horror games and also if you guys like horror games you'll enjoy my content so Thank you very much for watching this and I'll see you guys next time. Hope you all have a fantastic day.